Good day, everybody. I'm so glad to have you back on the channel. Um, welcome aboard the Windero 50 Yachting for a guided tour. True to the Windello DNA, she's a performance multi-hull with all the space and comfort you need to comfortably uh, sail around the world with uh, family or friends. She is eco-built uh, with a new type of uh, composite and eco-advanced with electric motors uh, as standard on board and vast sources of renewable energy for self-sustained cruising. The Windelo connoisseurs amongst you will have probably watched a Windelo uh, 50 guided tour before. Now today this is what we call the new Windelo uh, 50 um, which includes major upgrades to the deck and the roof, both in terms of function and um, aesthetics. So we'll also cover those in the full guided tour. The changes here really emphasize the already strong visual identity of the Windelo, uh, both throughout the deck and on the roof with a lot of uh, also detailed finish uh, upgrades. Um, so let's take a walk through. The roof here and the deck combing hosts the large um, sliding windows, which provide a panoramic view out from the saloon onto the water. Uh, and the same in the cockpit with these inverted uh, windscreens, uh, so to say. All boats in the Windelo range have this diamond-shaped anti-skid, which is molded, more durable, easier to maintain, much more efficient in terms of anti-skid, uh, and very stylish as well. There's been a lot of attention given to the design lines of the deck here. Uh, for example, to elegantly integrate the solar array uh, while maximizing the amount of space available uh, to do so. Um, we've also integrated uh, hatches, uh, ventilation, all of the lockers, and an overall curvature of the roof, uh, which favors uh, water flow off. This ties in further to the front of the boat. Um, the Windelo are performance multi hulls Our partner architects, Christoph Barrault and Frederick Neumann, uh, are famous for designing uh, top performance multi hulls The bows, therefore, are thin and the trampoline area is vast. It's both a, a relaxing area, um, but a lot of the time also a work area. You'll have, you know, relative to the size of the sails, big sail bags out here. And we also tie in uh, the deck fittings and the running rigging, for example, which will all come back straight into the cockpit for, for ease of use. Once you're done sailing at anchor, this space here, the front of the boat, doubles up as a really nice relaxing uh, space. On a day much unlike today, where it's actually Murphy's Law raining for our photo shoot, um, you would have the sun canopy out. We have a big sun canopy, comfortable loungers with their backrest. And so a lot of uh, socializing sp go, can go on here on the front. It's really nice and enjoyable. Um, all of this kit that we talked about uh, with uh, other things, you know, bicycles and whatnot, uh, are stored, uh, can be stored in just two of the lockers here um, that we have on the deck, uh, the front lockers, uh, which can also uh, alternatively be doubled up as uh, skipper cabin. In terms of the roof here, because of the way the boat operates, you don't really need to go up there very much. Um, however, if you do, it's just a couple of easy steps up. The extension of the roof tail here provides uh, a lot of shade and protection for anyone uh, on the terrace down below or on the transom. Uh, it also just allowed me to uh, circulate around the back of the boom. Um, this is a working space that you can, you can also walk on the solar panels. These are beautifully integrated into the design of the roof. And you can notice as well how low the boom actually is, uh, so it can be uh, worked on at waist height. The time has come now to talk about one of the main features of the Windelo, which is the front cockpit. This is an exceptional uh, 
uh, space. Very unique in the market is the Windelo front cockpit. It's called front, we're actually at the center of the boat, right behind the mast, and very close indeed to the center of gravity, which means the pace of least movement uh, of a boat, making it less tiresome uh, and more enjoyable for long passages. Our visibility here is all around. It's a 360 degree view, uh, whether it's out the front, out the back, but also up to uh, the, uh, the rig and the sails. You can see all of the mainsail, all of the telltales here from the helm station. All of the running rigging, uh, sheets, uh, dagger board commands, uh, you know, sheet, main sheets, Jenica sheets, uh, furlers come back into the cockpit. Um, so you essentially operate the boat from within this environment. Single-handed, you can operate on this boat with the Jenica crowd. It's uh, 250 square meters of sail, which you can operate single-handed and within a couple of footsteps. Uh, very, very big difference in terms of sailing um, this boat and great ease of use. The cockpit here uh, is still large enough that it hosts two uh, helms. Uh, so sailing from either of these helms by hand, you can be on the windward side with good visibility of the sails. That's if we're not uh, sailing on autopilot as we might be a lot of the time. And moving over to starboard here uh, is let's say the main helm station where we also have all of the electronics and information as well as the throttles. Speaking of the throttles, these come part of the uh, E-Drive system, which is standard on all Windows. Uh, two 20 kilowatt um, brushless electric motors, uh, which are all integrated through the E-Drive system and the hybridation, um, which is long proven by now um, on our boats. Uh, we have the uh, E-Drive screen here with both of our motors, the hydro generation function also a standard. Um, and then through the energy flow, we'll have all of our battery monitoring and all of the renewable energy from solar, hydro generation, wind turbine, if you have one, with the uh, achievement here really um, being that we have a boat that's self-sustained from renewable energies in most of her use cases and an e-drive hybrid system that is uh, proven. In terms of range, you'll get more than a thousand nautical miles from the uh, genset in hybrid mode. Uh, but of course, she's a sailing boat uh, and typically you'll be motoring uh, electrically, uh, fully electrically, just to join, and get into your anchorage or leave the marina. So just imagine uh, after your passage, after your day, coming into an anchorage in complete silence. This is where with Windelo, the transition uh, towards full electric sailing is well underway uh, and achievable. Sustainability is at the heart and the core of everything we do at Windelo. So we've touched on the structure build of the boat from Basalt, which is stiffer and more environmentally uh, responsible uh, than building from glass fiber. 15% stiffer, half the CO2 impact in terms of the structure. Then you blend in also the core uh, foam of the composite, which throughout half the boat is recycled PET. Uh, PET is in fact recycled plastic bottles and that theme continues through the interiors of the boat, which we're going to look at now, where the cabinetry work is obviously made from materials that are you know, as locally sourced and as responsible as possible. And through the cabinetry, this PET is employed again. So when we go through and look at the interiors, uh, you'll find that there are thousands of plastic bottles being employed here as well. The helm station here is officially an outdoor space. However, it's just a footstep away from and very connected to life that's going on inside the boat. Once open, and as is the case most of the time, the connected and the saloon, in this case the galley, are very, very interconnected, making for a seamless life on board and togetherness, whether you're at anchor or sailing. At anchor, this even doubles up as a very great social space up front. 
vice versa in fact while the cockpit doubles up as a social space the saloon doubles up as a sailing space and we have the chart table with main instrument panels we have the television here which is the repeater of all of your navigation information charts cameras radar autopilot etc um, and all of this uh, can be watched from the uh, day bed which is a great day bed with the windows open but it's also in front of the instruments your watch bed for those long passages a very very comfortable and stable space uh, to watch the sailing from indoors versatility continues here with a true indoor outdoor loft uh, feeling obviously closed today with uh, the weather we have these six sliding doors behind me would open up to either side and the sliding windows on the side as well so you can have that true outdoor feeling in better weather as you find out more about us uh, you'll know there are two different uh, layouts that you can choose from this happens to be the so-called l-shaped layout uh, with a very open plan uh, living great access to uh, the day bed and so all of the storage uh, all of the benches here have storage included the table extends further than this you could have eight ten guests here at the dining table um, a very spacious uh, and ample space in an open plan concept we have here today a 50-foot boat with an l-shaped galley which is indeed the more compact so to say version of all of the galleys that we that we offer however it's still very ample in terms of countertop surface around us a lot of uh, worktop uh, to work from uh, including from this uh, island here which uh, also uh, hosts two large storage drawers um, a lot of countertop surface as we say great uh, 160 liter uh, double drawer fridge we have a freezer uh, down below in the hull and when it comes to white goods uh, with the power uh, that we have on board induction cooking is a no-brainer uh, electric oven also so we have no gas on board and we even have a full-size dishwasher over there most of this running uh, most of the time so to say from renewable energies entirely all of the volumes and spaces we've looked at until now are on the single floor plan right so we really get this loft uh, lifestyle uh, which can co completely open up as we said on a, on a better day a very nice living atmosphere here uh, very seamless throughout and why don't we go and take a look downstairs this boat is a uh, three cabin uh, owner's version so we're in the uh, port hull with the uh, owner's suite and master cabin right here um, she boasts a queen size which is a 160 centimeter wide bed uh, and with great visibility out to the wraparound window with the help of our architects and at the core of what we wanted to achieve was to rethink the performance of multi-hull, yet with a lot of space. And you'll find that in two ways. One is the amount of storage space that's available uh, just in this cabin, all of the space under the bed, the benches and some uh, wardrobes. But also headroom space, uh, which is significant for a performance multi-hull. It's two meters throughout the boat, except through the bulkheads. And... Uh, both our taller clients but also shorter clients uh, just appreciate the impression of volume that that creates as we move forward here through the companionway of the owner's suite and uh, you'll find the uh, makeup table come uh, desk you could also have a uh, cozy lounge uh, reading area here and um, further forwards is all of the uh, wardrobe units um, for the owner's storage the owner's hull uh, continues here uh, to the front of the boat with the uh, heads and shower room uh, again a lot of daylight pouring in with great visibility also outside and a huge shower room uh, with its own uh, porthole which is actually the escape hatch but doubles up as a great porthole for ventilation if you're a guest aboard a window chances are you'll be on the starboard side so let's look at the aft guest cabin on starboard. She has a full-size 140 centimeter wide bed, also facing the beautiful wraparound window, and a closet, a wardrobe here as well. Returning to the entrance of the companionway here, so to speak, we did talk about the extension of the galley with some more uh, storage here. 
and the uh, freezer as well. Moving forwards, we have the day head, which is great for access during, during sailing by all of the crew. And further forwards, as we come past the uh, daggerboard casing here, uh, access to the uh, shower room. All the way forward to the boat here, we have another smashing uh, stateroom with a bed looking out onto a two meter long window. Lots of daylight pouring in through there. Great ventilation from the porthole uh, in the front, particularly at anchor with the boat facing that way. Uh, the deck, uh, deck hatch and ventilation as well. Even though this particular boat also has air conditioning, which is up here in the, uh, in the closet behind me. So there's a closet, uh, lots of storage up the top and a whole space under the bed, uh, which is storage too. And this is just one of the several combinations that you could choose here. We also have a home office for the working nomad um, with uh, extra accommodation as well. Uh, we have uh, the kids or Pullman cabin, even suitable for adults, very cozy setup with bunk beds uh, to choose from, and a uh, office com workshop uh, setup as well for the uh, uh, more active and practical minded. even much more living space than this as we go and uh, open up the terrace out the back. These living quarters with uh, beam through uh, extend uh, to the outside of the boat. Uh, just flip the, uh, flip the bench over here and we're out on the terrace. And it's a modular setup, flip the bench, lower the transom and we have a 16 square meter terrace out here to be enjoyed, um, sheltered from the sun or for instance today more so from, uh, from the rain. So you can use it in any condition, very comfortable. Um, we have the coffee table set up here. This doubles up and raises into a large dining table for you know, eight or 10 friends uh, out here at Anchor. And it's a single floor plan, single level, very seamless setup, very connected with the rest of the boat as well. So great space for socializing. How this actually works, the uh, terrace uh, is the transom that has been lowered as the terrace extension, um, creating a nice big open space, single floor plan with the rest of the uh, uh, saloon. So it's a loft atmosphere, all very connected. Then on the sail, you would raise the transom again. You can keep the bench down and the tables out, but you'd have a, a, a closed transom, a very safe environment for cruising. The uh, engine rooms are flush within the terrace. Uh, very easy to access large openings. Uh, they host the electric motor, uh, generator for the hybrid, uh, water maker, and even dive compressors in these spacious engine rooms. Summing up today's tour of the new Windelow 50, she's a performance multi-hull with a lot of those good uh, uh, sailing features. Uh, exceptionally livable, uh, very spacious and modular, uh, seamless in terms of spending time on board, uh, single-handed with uh, crew. Uh, and true to Windelow DNA, at the core of everything we do is building the boats in a more uh, responsible way, uh, more conscious way, uh, and using them with the electric motors and all of the renewable energy as autonomously and sustainably as possible. We hope you enjoyed the tour today and we look forward to seeing you again soon.